villager? Uh, mm. not a bad call, I think. I mean, uh, Lucina can struggle off stage, and I mean, what better character than <laughs> villager to kind of abuse it, you know? We'll see. Villager like has historically hated fast disjointed characters, but we'll see. We'll see. Especially with how good Stretch was at edge guarding the Robin, I feel like it's going to be even easier for him to do that to Villager since he doesn't even have like the hitbox on his upbeat. Right, but, uh, but I mean, and no, see, it's see. it's no offense to Vixel, but like Sharp has honestly been on another level and is among like what I think top ten in the in the WWR. Yep. Very, very strong online player and offline player for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, they're number ten in New England. So in New England, yeah, uh, New England, very, strong very, very strong in the ultimates. Very strong. Oh, uh oh. But uh, yeah, for, so far it just seems like on stage, great, great stuff for for both. Like Sharp's keeping it very close. I'm just worried about when he's off stage mainly. Like I really uh, worry for him. But this should be an edge guard actually. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about. As soon as Lucina goes off stage, uh, has Matt correcting me in the chat as well? Uh, New England is a decent region. It's got uh, <laughs> some pretty okay players. Uh, <laughs> Mars Light, you might have heard of them. They're they're all right. Yeah, that uh, has Matt guy's pretty good too. I I think he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to oh. be honest, like right now, you can say that <laughs> Light and uh, Mars are okay. What what results do they have recently? <laughs> Honestly, yeah, they're pretty much non-existent in uh, the online <laughs> era. Oh good. But okay, we're gonna get back to this game here. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, right now, uh, Sharp's doing a pretty good job. Sharp's trying to find a way back in here. Uh, not Sharp, Stretch. Uh, Stretch trying to find a way back. Ooh, okay, that so, would have been Stretch. Uh, cute. Stretch really likes the side B1 off stage, and uh, it looks uh, like really cool, but it's oh he's oh. dead, almost dead. He's not but dead. yeah, it, he if he messes that side B up off stage, he will die so so badly. But um, he's still going for it. Oh, back throw here. Watch out for the bowling ball. Like watch out for the bowling ball. Yeah, <laughs> that's all you have to worry about in that situation. Uh, watch out for the bowling ball again. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't get hit by that move off stage. Yep. Let's see. Let's see how Sharp recovers here. Eee! Oh, great tech. Beautiful tech. Yes. Beautiful tech once again. Keep teching. It's the only way you will survive <laughs> off stage. Yeah, and so far, yeah, Stretch is trying to find a way to get rid of this stock. And, oh my god, this the raw up smash is actually going to catch Stretch. Oh. He's going to land with the shield breaker. We're not going to get too much else out of it. Just want to say if it was Marth, that shield breaker oh, would have no. killed. Just, just died. I'd say that. <laughs> oh, jeez, dude. What was Sharp? Wait, yeah, what is that? Holy what was that Sharp? string? <laughs> oh, come on, man. Sharp is on a whole other level, dude. Wait, doesn't have a jump here? Oh, my Ooh, goodness. Wow. But that dolphin slash, sometimes you just don't want to challenge it so fast. And uh, the invincibility of the startup, too, is very useful for avoiding hitboxes. Stretch going super aggressive off stage, as he tends to do. Kind of missing his edge guard though on a villages up B. Yep. Uh oh. Big punish maybe. All right. Catching a little bit of something there. We've seen Stretch make some decent runs before, and then it all just falls apart as Sharp finds one opening and just yeah. finds ways it. Oh, Ooh. never mind. That big head is gonna be a problem as Stretch is gonna land that forward smash and uh, knock that little man into the blast zone. That was that was a really really clutch for his match to catch that air dodge to ledge. But yeah, I'm actually very impressed with the villager from Sharp. That was actually very close, and I didn't expect uh, that match to go that way. It seems pretty hard for villager. Yeah, I mean, I, I would think so, especially just Lucina just being such a strong character overall. Um, nothing absolute, nothing crazy happened, but like. I don't like the fact that Sharp <laughs> seems to have a decent villager. Yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, it's, it's not even that. It's just like he's decent. He's not decent. He's very good at the game. He's got great fundamentals. So it's just like, I will pick up a character and I will make them work. Like, that's just that's just what it is. That's what we're watching tonight. <laughs> yeah, but uh. villager, uh, strike out villager from the list. Let's see. Let's see who he picks this time. I mean, he only has, like, 
50 or 40 something characters left to choose from so he's got to be careful i wonder if he just <laughs> i want i want to know like is he really trying to like pick the characters that are good for the matchup or is he just like he just doesn't care i would imagine he's he's trying to try to like counter pick at least somewhat like i i assume he's not just gonna go in there and just gonna throw out like you know ganon and lil mac and this, that, and another. Like, I'm, I'm sure he wants to win, but he wants to win in this fashion. <laughs> but every time I've seen him do something like this, like there was that one time at a juice box where he did a randomizer of 14 characters, and he got third place. And we were like, uh, it was me and Rickles, we were doing commentary, and we were just we're like, why is he changing characters? And we didn't find out until at the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that happening as well. Like, I was like, oh, why is Sharp playing Ganondorf? Oh, he okay link okay okay i'm i'm interested to see how because like i feel like link like yes you can have strong fundamentals but with link you still gotta have an idea of how to like implement like you know bomb and and you know boomerang into the kit so i'm I'm curious to see what he has with uh what he has going with link so he already played young link and toon link earlier so i guess he's going you know all three <laughs> link bracket yeah let's see let's see Alright, well, so far, uh, Stretch is definitely, uh, you know, got the lead here. 31% <laughs> so far. But there we go. We got a little bit of space going. Now we'll have to see how Sharp is going to play out the rest of this game here. Projectiles. How much are they going to play a factor? That's kind of what it really comes down to. Yeah, I'm really curious to see uh, how he's going to use the projectiles in this type of match. Because that's how he's going to limit Lucina's approaches, I feel. Like, Link has really good normals on his own as well, but not as fast as a uh, Lucina outside of the neutral air. Mm -hmm. Again, Stretch loves the side B1 off stage. I guess he wants to see if he can snag a, a double jump with it at first and then go for a forward air, but man, if he messes that up, like, I just get so worried he's just gonna get reversal and die. But it's quite possible. Right, okay. Forward throw off stage. Yeah, right oh. now it's. It's the same as game one. Uh, Sharp just got a very solid lead for the most part, and we'll just have to see if Stretch can find a way to come back. I mean, I, I'm sure Stretch wouldn't be uh, a stranger to it. We've seen him uh, make some pretty strong plays before, so I don't think this would be anything different. Going for another up smash, and that one's just not going to connect at all. Yeah, up smash is incredibly strong. Oh, counter here? Yeah. Yeah, nice snag. Nice snag on the down tilt to hit him out of his double jump. But man, just let me just fall on top of you with this insanely strong forward air. You're not ready to block this. And uh, now we're going right back to an even game. I mean, I mean, Sharp's trying to Sharp's trying to get something going here. Uh, so far, like I just, I just don't. <laughs> this set is just so weird. Anything with Sharp this this tournament is just so strange to me. I'm just not sure how to be like, oh yeah, you know, game one he was going for this that, and then he just plays a complete different character. It's like, all right, you know what? I'm just not gonna do any sort of uh, analysis for this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It doesn't make sense. Stretch, however, woo, he's starting to warm up a little bit. Yeah, Stretch is uh very consistent in how he punishes with this character, especially off stage. That's definitely where his strong suit is. Now, I think I think Sharp might recognize that at this point, so he is trying to avoid being put in that situation as much as possible. Yeah, Stretch is definitely definitely going for some uh, for some interesting options out there. Like you mentioned before, they they've been going for that uh, that Dancing Blade one off stage, just trying to catch something. I'm just curious if they're gonna be like if they're gonna keep trying to throw that out there just to try to fish out an option, or if, you know they're gonna change it up later. But oh, beautiful Ooh. stuff! Actually, getting the down tilt to the forward smash. Uh, that was just that was just good. Uh, good ultimate. Like, I got nothing yeah. else to add to that. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's so hard to take that down tilt online consistently. <laughs> like, I'm not even surprised. Online. I'm not even surprised that he's like missed the tech on the down tilt this many times. Like, it's actually really hard. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Lucina with a projectile. No nothing I ever want to hear said ever again. Man, I'm just thinking about. Oh great! Ooh. Wow, that's a, that's such a risky parry to go for. <laughs> if you mess that up, you're just super dead. Right. But yeah, I was just thinking about the unit of Lucina that's like has projectiles, and how messed up that would be in Smash. I don't ever want to think about that again. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, unfortunately, SD. Uh, yeah, they were trying to go for that that spike, and it would have been rewarding if he got it. But unfortunately, he just went down a little too far. The Dolphin Slash not going to be enough. Okay, great I, pick there. I do like that stretch is also uh, a couple times now 
has gone off stage uh, as soon as Shark goes to grab the ledge and tries to Dolphin Slash to the ledge to try and get some sort of trump situation. Yep. Also, if, uh, you know, Shark's not on point, oh, wow, that was a really good counter. Ooh, oh, but great he, recovery. He back. I'm surprised. But uh, yeah, Sharp's not on point with the that dancing blade at the ledge. He'll just get super stage spiked, or sometimes even just sent the complete opposite way off stage as well. Oh my gosh, another very very aggressive off stage forward air from Stretch, just immediately going out there, not even giving him any time to up B at all. And yeah, we'll take that one. Going up 2-0. Yeah, I mean it's. Yes, good, consistent uh, smash from uh, from Stretch. She's finding all those correct options. It's like, I feel like the fun thing on the on the opposite side of here of this is it, it allows you to kind of like, it's almost like you're getting practice in bracket on your matchups. <laughs> like, like characters maybe you won't see as often. Like, I don't know how often we see Link online. I know there's a couple of solid villagers. Shout out to Pokelam. Um, but, you know, I think this kind of gives Stretch an idea. Like, okay, how can I make my game plan work against this character. So, I mean, at least there's a benefit there. Gotta see Mega Man. Mega Man? Three. <laughs> the super fighting robot. Uh, All right. Out in game three here. If Sharp wins this one, I'll be very surprised. I actually think this is a really hard matchup for Mega Man. I mean, I wouldn't put anything past Sharp, to be honest. Just, the, dude, the dude's insane. Yeah. <laughs> I got, I got I mean, it's not impossible. I would just be surprised. <laughs> That's all. But let's see, let's see. Let's see what Sharp's game plan is here. I mean, I'm sure you picked Mega Man versus Lucina for a reason. Um, I don't know if there's an actual <laughs> reason. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I think Sharp's just trying to have a good time with Smash. <laughs> and you're guaranteed oh. at least fourth place play, playing like this. So, I don't know, that, that's just kind of wild to me. Yeah, I mean, if he does lose this, I'm sure he'll be like, all right, I, I mean, I had a good run, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. So far, already off to a pretty good start. Yeah, I mean, but that's been the case for the past yeah, two games, too. Actually, he gets off yeah, to a hot true. start. And, like, and it, you can tell that he knows how to play the characters, at least at least to a, a, a good degree. It's just a matter of stretch really just, like, going, okay, you're playing this character now. I'll take the first stock and a half to figure out what's happening. And then he just turns it on for the end. It's to close it out. <laughs> like, Yeah, that's that's pretty true. Like, it's, a lot of it is uh, stretch trying to adapt to the new character at the start of uh, each match so far. Yeah, I mean, if anything, that just kind of kind of makes a point about stretch as a player. Like, his adaptability is, has been really on point tonight. Great counter. That was a great counter, actually. <laughs> counter is such, such like a tough option to just throw out sometimes because like it can literally just del like ruin a stock for you if you throw out the throw it out at the wrong time. Whoa, Ooh. that was a crazy forward air from Sharp. I couldn't even see Mega Man's model at all. Oh, great tech though. Yeah, his e tech have been on point. Yo, these percentages of the up throw is just gonna take that stock right there. I don't even know if he would have just died at 180 or if the, the max rage from Stretch also helped. But, I mean, either way, going <laughs> to take that stock with the up throw. Uh, we'll see how these two players pr uh, proceed from here, though. Oh, sneaks okay. in the back there. Okay. Keeping things very close. Okay. Metal Bay dash attack. Not the best combo you can get from Metal Bay, but we will take it. Yo, is Mega Man actually kind of smooth right now? <laughs> yeah, he's... <laughs> yeah. If you can chain forward airs together with Mega Man, yeah, you're, you're definitely feeling yourself just a little bit. Looking for a couple back airs there. Not going to be able to get either of them. Tried to get the mix up there too, but unfortunately Ooh. Stretch is just really on top of it right now. Oh man, really like that shield breaker at the ledge. Barely avoids the down air from Mega Man as well. Nice. Crash bomb into the back air. Okay. He's set for a ledge trap. He hasn't gotten the retreating forward airs at ledge to work so far but still staying uh staying relatively safe here okay okay good edge stuff. guard no doesn't go super deep off stage this time oh but yeah tries, that's the punch yep. 
Tried to get that up smash raise, and that up smash will scoop too, so I'm surprised it didn't like, uh, if he just waited a little bit longer, he probably could have got that shield poke, but unfortunately, uh, Stretch was just not going to be able to, uh, to die from that and actually take the stack themselves. Ooh, that forward air is very strong in this game. Probably one of the better buffs that Mega Man got coming into Ultimate. That was super unfortunate. He tried to throw the uh, blade back on stage, and unfortunately, it clipped the ledge and just fell down. Okay, tech chase here. Nice. Gets the get up attack. Yes. Um, something I'm noticing though is uh, Sharp hasn't really had an opportunity to space the pellets or use the uh, metal blade much as like a combo starter. Mm. I feel like um. I feel like pellets is like such an awkward thing. Like if you don't play Mega Man enough, like I feel like pellets is so weird. Yeah. It's so strange. Yeah, it's just it's a, such a mechanic that's specific to Mega Man, so it's not easy to be really consistent at doing that. Oh, watch out though. Very very close Ooh. situation. Ooh. Okay, he texts this time. He texts when it matters. <laughs> I told you fundamentals. Oh, he got the grazing hit of neutral air on Lucina. That's like so fortunate for Sharp in this situation. Or not. Oh, bad air dodge. Air dodge before his up B in a really awkward spot. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the end. You hate to see it go out on an SD, but sometimes that's just how it be.